Hi everyone, it's Luke here and welcome back to another video. Today, as you can see behind me, I am at the London Classic Car Show at the Excel Centre. Now this is an annual event uh, and a show which I've been going to for a number of years now. Uh, but today is Thursday, um, as you can see it's not really open to the public uh, until later on today. So it's all a bit mismatchy, everyone's still setting up and things. But I have very kindly got some early access thanks to some friends of mine. So I think the plan is to have a look around, see what's going on and see what cars we could find because this is not just a classic car show, even though it's primarily a classic car show, being the London Classic Car Show. But in previous years, there has been some pretty amazing uh, modern supercars here as well. So have a little bit of a look around, see what you can find, and hopefully, have a really good day! and a half up here at Lamborghini Club UK. Got a fairly hefty lineup with also a space in the middle, so I'm wondering what they're gonna put in there. This Aventador S is stunning. I don't know what colour it is exactly. And it's got the Dione or Dione Aventador standard Aventador wheels on it as well, which looks awesome. They got some plate as well. <laughs> Now it's not every day that you see one of these now. For those of you who don't know, this is the Gumper Apollo. I think this particular car is a 2007 car. Um, but now obviously Gumper are back with a bang with the Apollo IE. And seeing this makes me even more excited to see that car because I still haven't seen it yet. I know it's hardly really been out for very long. <laughs> Let me just take a closer look at this thing because it's absolutely ridiculous. You can see if I zoom in up there, we can see that carbon intake, which is just crazy. Got that huge fixed wing. Uh, I wish I could get a closer look, but it's all barricaded off. Again, more carbon goodies and carbon louvers. Oh, it's just so aggressive. Next bit, of course, we have an F40, a car which I don't think I'll ever get bored of seeing. This one has the Lexan windows, if it's going to focus. Da, 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 da. There we go. Oh, no. Yeah. Oh, oh. Either way, has the Lexan windows, which is a rare option for the F40. Um, but yeah, seeing these two together is actually pretty cool. I know that's not really a modern supercar, but kind of modern classic catch and drift. Anyway, yes, very cool. Right, so um, I'm actually at one of my friends' stand at the moment, Howard Wise, and he's got this P1 for sale at the moment. Um, he couldn't put it into race mode, so he's brought me along <laughs> to put it into race mode for him. First of all, we've got to start it up. Which is very, very cool. Next, we've got to put it in active mode. And then there's a button down here, race. So press and hold race. You can see race mode selected. Then press race again, then voila, the car is dropping and the spoiler is going up. Oh my gosh, how nice is this? I have an extreme soft spot for anything GT2 hours, no matter what model it is, this one especially. Oh my god, this is so nice. The stealth look just looks absolutely stunning. Just the gloss black wheels with those yellow calipers and then absolutely smothered with carbon. I think this is actually satin carbon on the wing mirrors here. Looks very cool. 
and on the side air intake on this little back panel here nearly to the back got those not that you can see it but twin exhaust <laughs> and that awesome wing but if I come round to the front you can see that the bonnet is in fact full carbon how awesome does that look there's just something about this car which I just love and I kind of low-key slash high-key wish that the new GT2 RS was sat next to it. But GT2 RS over GT3 RS any day of the week. So I'm over here now at the GVE London stand. And my God, do they have some cool cars here. I'm not really sure where to start. Uh, but right here, we've got a very nice 6M5 LT Spider. Interestingly, it's got the new uh, wheels that came out when the Spider did. At first, I absolutely hated them, but on this, it actually doesn't look too bad. Now, I still wouldn't spec mine with those wheels, but in this kind of satin black and satin silver slash gray look, with the red calipers behind it, it doesn't actually look too bad. Talking about finishes, actually, I'm not quite sure if this is satin or not, because that looks gloss, whereas this looks satin. Am I the only one that thinks that? <laughs> or am I going crazy? Either way, pretty stunning spec. What is there not to love about an LT, let's be honest. But if I move over here, we have a 599 GTO. One of the most hardcore Ferraris that there is. This one finished in, I think, Regio Silverstone. I may be wrong, probably am, but it looks awesome with that satin black roof and this satin black stripe that goes right through the middle of it. However, this is not the most extreme car they have on their stand because behind me, we have the one of four, I believe, Koenigsegg CCXR editions. These things are ridiculous. If I take a close up actually, we'll be able to see that it has a full carbon body, which is just absolutely stunning. And to me, this is not just a car, this is a piece of art. I just have to zoom into that carbon weave once more because just look at that. That is crazy. The car also has a special wing with the CCXR edition, which looks awesome. There's something about a car this crazy and having a ridiculous wing, it, it just, just works. It looks like the guys here at GVE are actually masking the car up in order to do some detailing work or something. Um, but wow, what a car. Probably the best car that I've seen here today. Thanks for sure. much about classics, especially Ferraris. What I do know is what is behind me right now is very, very valuable. <laughs> First of all, we've got a 250 LM, which I think is worth around 10 million. Probably wrong, but a very special car indeed. I think it raced in the um, Good Revival this year. Next up, we've got a 250 TR, TR being Testarossa, probably one of my favorite classic Ferraris. I mean, this thing is just ridiculous. Pinpoint some of the things. Obviously, you've got no roof, you've got this crazy see-through part of the engine so you can see the top of the cylinders. Inside, I mean, as you expect, it's pretty stripped out. It's a race car, manual gearbox, wooden steering wheel, some slightly iffy deck chair looking seats. <laughs> and it's also parked extremely close to this, which is a 250 GTO. According to this, it's a Drogo Speciale. Not sure what that means, uh, but I presume <laughs> it's something to do with the livery. Um, we've got this strange two-tone, like it's kind of driven into some blue paint <laughs> at the front. <laughs> but anyway, uh, the 250 GTO needs no other explanation. It's probably one of the most valuable cars in the world. Next to that, we have another 250 TR, which is pretty much exactly the same as that. Um, but we can just see inside that it's just completely stripped out. Although my OCD is kind of killing me how the wheel isn't straight. But anyway, I'll move on from that. I'm moving on to something a little bit more modern. This is the Lister Thunder. Um, now, Lister as a brand, um, I say, isn't as well known as I think it should be. Um, they first started off in the 1950s building race cars and then later evolved to build a few road cars. Most famously, the Storm, which they only made a handful of. Now, this is the return of Lister. Basically, as you can see, based off a Jaguar F-Type. But Lister have added their touches and uh, have pretty much made a perfect car 
even better. First of all, just looking at it, we can see that they've made a few cosmetic changes. Now, the first of which are the 22-inch Vossen multi-spoke wheels in satin black, which look absolutely stunning. Now, this is a prototype car. They're still developing it, but I believe it took them two years to get to this stage. Um, and I think the theme with this is black and green. As you can see, we've got the lipstick around the front, the Lister badge. Coming around here, we've got the green brake calipers. And then if I pop around to the interior, this we can see that we've got all the green stitches around the interior as well. Now rumour has it this is the highest quality Napa leather that you can find in the UK and I mean the inside of this car is completely smothered in it and it just looks like such a nice place to be. Yeah the detail in this thing is absolutely amazing. You can see the Lister badge embroidered there and even when I close the door we can see the little Lister thing on the door handle as well. But then if I move round to the back we can see the lightweight exhaust, which obviously seeing as this car is based off the F-Type, it's going to sound ridiculous. I haven't heard it yet, but hopefully I will get a chance to hear it sometime in the future. But I have been speaking with the guys here at Lister, and seeing as this is just a pre-production car, there is a lot of changes which you can make which aren't shown on this car. You can get the full front splitter here in carbon, sections of the bonnet in carbon, full side skirts in carbon, roof in carbon, and a rear diffuser in carbon. So there's going to be no shortage of carbon. <laughs> on this thing. Now as I'm sure you can expect, Lister have not just done cosmetic changes. This thing has a 5 litre V8 producing 666 brake horsepower. So yeah, it's a bit of a monster um, and it's certainly a looker as well. Only 99 of these things are going to be made completely customizable and as Tiff Nadell is saying in that little video behind me here, the customers are going to be communicating with Lister themselves at the factory to make every one of these cars completely unique. So every single one of the 99 are going to be completely different, which I absolutely love. much it for this video I think I've explored every corner of the show and overall it's been pretty good we've had some awesome classics we've had some awesome modern supercars as well so I think it's been a pretty good turnout anyway I hope you guys did enjoy the video if you did then make sure you leave a like and make sure you subscribe for all the adventures still to come